camp in here, I can always see the fuel gauge. Or even when I'm running, I can pick up the gas can. I can the gas. It's, it's about half, so it's about three gallons currently now. Also, with the gas tank being under the valve, the fuel line was running entirely length of the boat with the primer bulb. Now, with your primer bulb, you want to all, always make sure that it's firm. So, say like I'm running early in the morning, going far to the jet is very dangerous, or fishing at night, I'm running, <clears throat> motor dies. Well, you got gas, my fuel line, good connection. Let me check my primer bulb. That's firm because sometimes that primer bulb will collapse, and if that collapses, there's no suction taking it from the gas tank to the outboard. Also, with my fuel water separator being here, I can see all the connection. I can quickly inspect everything here. Also, I can take the cowling off. I can inspect with the flashlight if it's night, or I can quickly inspect. Okay, boom. Gas tank, fuel line, primer bulb, water fuel separator, gas line, all the way to the carburetor. So, one reason why I love a tiller, I love the gas tank here, I love the fuel gauge, I love everything is right here. So if I'm out running wide open and it dies, of course it's either fuel, air, fire, or something a little bit more complicated. Really. But those are the three simple uh, or the, the three initial things that you would check for. So. That's why I love the setup that I have now with this boat. Everything is compact. It is right here in one general location. So, I explained why I like having the gas can here. I explained why I like having the fuel lines. I can see the primer bulb. I can inspect the fuel uh, water separator, I can see everything. Now, what I'm going to talk about is the importance of having a fuel water separator. Now, for example, if you come and take a look here. Now, as you can see, if I did not have the added fuel water separator that you saw earlier, this is the only filter for the fuel from your gas tank, gas can going to your outboard that will be protecting your outboard, that will be protecting your powerhouse, your investment. That's really not a lot of filtering protection. So this is the extra fuel water separator device that I added. It is made by Atwood. And basically, you have your fuel tank, your fuel line, your primer bulb going into this filter here. And this filter is pulling out dirt, debris, and water, and it's sending filter fuel to your outboard then it's being filtered by the inline uh, filter from Yamaha or, or any aftermarket inline filter you uh, use. But I, I try to only use Yamaha OEM parts to ensure uh, continued success. But as you can see, with this outboard, this is how you get to the places that put you on the fish to catch the fish. So you want to protect your investment. So a good gas tank, proper 
fuel line with your primer bulb, a fuel water separator, an additional inline fuel filter. And you know you have good clean fuel going to your outboard. Okay, so, so far I have discussed my gas tank location, why I have everything set up the way that I have it. I'm going to also tell you a product that I stand behind and that I will not put fuel in this gas tank without adding this product. And this product is Starbright Startron Enzyme Fuel Treatment. It's for all gas engines, stabilizes fuel, improves performance, cleans fuel system, and more. And this one bottle, of course, you can get it from Walmart, you can get it from Lowe's, you can get it from AutoZone, you can get it from Amazon. I love ordering Amazon because during a busy work week, you can um, conveniently just order something. And with Jacksonville, there are so many distribution centers, a lot of times it'll be at the front door the next day, which is very convenient. But there are a number of places that you can get this product from. I believe it was... 998 and as you can see it treats 128 gallons and this six gallon gas tank with the moves that I make I can use six gallons and for eight trips so this product lasts a long time and I will not put fuel into my gas can without using this product and this product is so good i'm going to tell you why it's so good this uh boat used to be a side console with a 40 horsepower evanry two stroke and i sold the console the remote steering outboard and i was in the market for a tiller so i found this outboard from an older gentleman and i I did the maintenance, I replaced the oil and the, the gear oil and such. But when you would be out and about running, when you start the outboard, sometimes when you give it throttle, it'll it kind of bog down. Or sometimes even if it's idling and you just go from you just give it gas and sputter and turn off. So that's one reason why I was in the market for finding a product and upon research, I found this product and I used it and I'm very happy to say I do not have those issues that I was having when I initially purchased this outboard. So I can start the outboard and it runs smooth and I can give it throttle, I can I can do whatever I want to do with the outboard and I do not have those problems. And I believe it's because, uh, for example, it says problem, uh, fuel stability and debris and fuel. So lost performance, rough idle, making the engine run poorly, uh, aging fuel leaves gums and solids that leaves deposits throughout the fuel system. So, not only do you want to use marine grade ethanol free gas, using this fuel enzyme is, is a short bet for success to put you on the fish. Okay, so we talked about the placement of the gas tank, the primer bulb, fuel lines, the fuel water separator, the inline uh, fuel filter, um, using the product in your gas, but also one simple uh, task that some may forget to do can uh, destroy your joyful day of fishing. And one thing a lot of people forget to do, and this is especially for people that leave their boat outdoors, outside, they forget to close this fuel cap vent. And even with uh, my book being in the garage, I close it because, for example, when I work uh, night shift, 
a lot of times I'll pull my boat to work with me. I'll work the night shift, and then when I get off in the morning, I'll be a mile or two away from the boat ramp, so I'll just put in and get an early start. Well, for example, if I left this gas cap uh, vent open in the morning times, man, this boat has so much dew on it and such. Imagine what's getting into the gas tank. So you're doing everything you're doing uh, with buying marine grade gas, um, using this product, but something as simple as leaving this vent open will put water into your gas um, tank. And you never know, just a little bit over time, it, it might build up. You never know. And you running wide open, you running trying to get to your spot, and you're, you're shooting that water, especially if you let the tank get very low, and you shoot the water through your, your outboard. Remember, this is your this is your investment. It's your powerhouse. You want to protect your investment. You want to make sure that you're operating in top performance. And as you can see, see it does see problem water and fuel. Uh, water and fuel will degrade combustion and can lead to phase separation. So this is a, a awesome product that I stand behind. I use it and I have no issues with my outboard with your food. So I hope the information that I shared today was very useful. I hope it ensures continued success for all the anglers on the water, especially if you have a boat. And if you're not a subscriber, please smash the subscribe button and also enable the notification so when I put these videos out for you, you will be notified. And once again, thank you.